What's going on, everybody? This is Rhythm. Today we will be channeling messages from your spiritual guides of what they want you to know, as well as connecting with your higher selves. What does your what is your higher self trying to tell you? Um if you want a personal reading or anything like that, check the link below and you'll find all the information there. But let's get started. I pray everybody is having a a wonderful day or night wherever you are um, and blessings to you some of you guys I can feel some of you guys are going through a lot it hasn't been easy um, but you are coming out of the darkness you will get through this um, and I just feel some of you guys need to know that you are not in this alone you have people or a person who really cares about you and who loves you um, and who is there for you? I feel called and meant to say that. Um, so let's get started. The tower moment, okay? So basically, you have unexpected blessings in the skies coming, but what you have to understand is, is that. Your spiritual guides have been trying to get your attention. So they have been, you, you're you going through all this in your personal life because they're trying to get your attention and they're trying to bless you with a better outcome and a better life, if that makes sense for you guys. And I'm, I'm going to talk slow as possible because... You know, people speak different languages and things like that. It might be people who don't understand how fast I'm talking. So I'm going to try to go slower um, as far as speaking instead of talking so fast. If I am still talking too fast, um, please let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely work on that because, you know, hey, I'm here to help all you guys out um, as well as just people who are listening who you know might be too afraid too shy to come in but let's 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 go on. what you do need to understand is that you're telling yourself that you're sorry and you feel defenseless writing past wrong wrongs and uprooting so i feel it's time for you to relocate Wherever you're meant to go and wherever you're meant to be, you're not where you're supposed to be right now. You're you're at a physical distance from where you are truly called and meant to be. Your soul is your soul and your body is not where it's actually supposed to be. And some of you some of you know that some of you know that you are not where you're supposed to be also for others you guys have a lot that you are holding in that you have not spoken about and you feel defenseless at this time maybe you've lost finances maybe you lost your job maybe you lost your career maybe you're going through uh trouble in college maybe you have to take the semester off from college some of you will because you can't quite afford to pay for the um you can't afford to pay for um uh, the tuition um and for some reason i'm i'm feeling that like it's something going on pertaining to college or your job or your career um it could be because of your health it could be because of your children um you could be suffering right now from things that you've done in the past and you're not happy about it. But I want you to know that, hey, you, you, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Writing past wrongs, uprooting. Like you need to, it, it's time for you to ground yourself and for you to heal yourself. 
you need to heal whatever regret you have or whatever you've been dealing with. I'm also hearing at this time that some of you actually do have somebody who genuinely, truly cares about you. And this person loves you to a point where they, they're willing to be the villain for some of you guys. They're willing to, they're willing to, 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 to blow the world up about you. For others, I'm hearing, you know, you have someone and you love them deeply, but you don't know if you want to place those burdens on them and give them any more because they already have a heavy load. You need to be willing to trust and go to this person. Um, you might need to tell this person, hey, you know, speak to them in a calmer way. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. Can you just listen? Um, I love you. I have something going on. It's ways that you can go because everybody's different. Everybody's different how you come at them and how you speak to them. And you just have to tell them, hey, I just need you to listen to me. Um, <clears throat> I am I am still sick, but I was called to do this reading. Um, so I have to get this out. Like you just feel like you feel alone. Like you feel like you're on an island. Sometimes, sometimes you feel like you're on an island and nobody understands you or you're scared and afraid or you don't want to put more on your person or you feel like, oh, they have so much going on. I don't I don't want to bother them. Whoever you are, let me tell you something. When a person truly loves you and they truly care. It doesn't matter what they have going on. It doesn't matter how much they going on. I don't care if they get overwhelmed. When they truly love you and they truly care. And I, I for some reason, I just feel like somebody has a tear coming out of their eye. Because this is like clarification for them. Or they're crying off to their self. And they don't even tell people that they cry. They just try to be a big girl or a big boy. Hold it in. Try to like go through everything by themselves but you don't have to go through everything by yourselves for you individuals who are single you know hit your if you have a best friend that you could trust hit them up for you guys who have a lover who are married or in a relationship a committed relationship go to your person and trust them i'm gonna tell you something for some of you guys your person still has growing to do just like you. For others, do you understand your person? Your person would probably change their whole lifestyle. They would up and root and move if they had to. If they knew what, everything that was going on or pertaining to you, or if you feel like you're alone and afraid, that person would probably work double time or overtime. Just to try to make sure you have a more comfortable, better life. You know, they, they're, they're willing to do anything. And I don't mean to ramble and all that, but somebody needs to hear this. And I'm telling you, I feel like it's some, it's some lover cards about to come out that's about to be confirmation. That way you guys actually see, hey, this man, is he, he knows what he's saying. He knows what he's talking about. Like, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter if you prostituted. It doesn't matter if you, if, if, like, you will be surprised that your person might just want to give you the biggest hug because you don't know what your person has done. Neither one of you are perfect. Neither one of you are like some angels, but you are each other's person. If you don't have a person, don't let people make you feel like you are nothing because you are something you are somebody it doesn't matter you have to know that you are beautiful and that you are enough and that you are worthy and that you look you you deserve happiness abundance love some of you don't feel like you are supposed to have your person like, don't sabotage what you have. And some of you are, are sabotaging what you guys have. 
or some of you have sabotaged what you have had. And maybe you you've had to take a break from that person and then go back to them because you realize like, hey, that person is my soulmate. Hey, that person is that person loves me and cares about me genuinely. Like I need to get my shit together. But the thing is, here's the key. When you're with somebody, you can get your shit together with them. Don't wait. And get it to you don't have to get it together by yourself. When a person loves you, include them in your day to day. Include them. And I'm still channeling this card. Include them. This is this is talking about the tower moment in this card right here. Include them in what you're going through. You guys are going to help each other heal. They are going to help you heal. You are going to help them heal. It's a two way street. You have to trust and believe. You will receive blessings undisguised. But the universe is putting you and your spiritual guides have put you in this situation at the moment. And everything that you guys or this end of, or the individual that I'm talking to is going through, or maybe you and your husband, if you're married, you guys are going through, you're going through it for a reason. Because there's bigger and better blessings coming for you guys and to you guys. You have to understand and you have to believe that. But you have, you must communicate. You must communicate. Don't hold it in, whatever it is. I don't care if you guys live at a distance and you're over here like, hey, you know, I'm okay. I miss my person. They're busy working. Uh, they're, they're, you know, they're out on, uh, they're, they're in the military right now, or they're in a damn tugboat, or we're, we're just separated at a distance because, you know, both of us go to college in two separate states, two separate countries. One of us work or do the children, whatever it is, express your feelings and tell what you have going on. Express how you feel. Express to them, I love you. I miss you. You will be surprised, especially with men. I'm going to tell you something, ladies, and this is for ladies. A lot of y'all do not understand. Every man is different. But men have a love language just like women have love languages. And for some men, they need that communication. That you tell them that you love them, you miss them. Oh, my God, that's so amazing. Well, my wife, like. Well, my wife is not around or she's in, like taking, you know, college classes, whatever. Just to hear her text me or her say good morning to me. Or her say my love, things like that. Do you know how much better that makes my day? That makes my day so much better to hear that. For her to ask me how I'm doing. Do you know how that that makes my day go from okay to to amazing, honestly? Like it does. No matter what's going on in my day, for her to take that time out to say, babe, how are you doing? Are you like, are you okay? How are you feeling? Like our schedules are jam-packed busy, but taking that time out one or two on with one another. That is so important for us to stop what we are doing and to pay the other person attention. That is so important. And that's what you guys got to understand. And that's what you guys have to learn. You guys have to learn to do that. Some of you guys have to learn to give more. You have to give out, get out and step out of your comfort zone. And I feel like there will be confirmation about you stepping out of your comfort zone. Even if it does not come out, I'm giving you clarity that you need to step out of your comfort zone. Emotions are running high. Your emotions are running high. Your emotions are running high at this time. Like you have so many different emotions and things affecting you. And this could be because you, you know, you have... 
Pisces somewhere in your house. You have Cancer somewhere in your house. Because when you're a Cancer, the emotions run high. You're controlled by the damn moon. Like your emotions. And some of you have Cancer. If you have Cancer, if you have Cancer in your south node, your emotions are going to run high. If you have Cancer somewhere in your chart, in one of the main aspects, your emotions are running high right now. You're getting pulled and you're not saying it, but you have isolated your emotions. Step out of there. Like, free yourself from the madness of your comfort zone. Like, somebody needs to hear that. Free yourself from the madness of your comfort zone. And I have a message and I'm channeling because somebody needs to hear this and it's from their person. But let's pull a couple more cards. Abundance. Look at this. Money increase, stability, wealth. You guys are meant to have abundance and wealth. When you come out of this tower moment, and I said you guys moving earlier, you guys are moving for a reason, and you guys need to relocate for a reason. I'm also hearing, like, stop trying to have control of everything. You have tried to control everything your whole entire life. And what I want you to really ask yourself is where has that gotten you so far by you trying to control everything? Ask yourself that. Where has it gotten me by me trying to control myself? Where am I right now? Why am I trying to control my whole relationship and control everything? Or why am I trying to have so much control over everyone and everything around me? I guarantee you life would go so much better if you stopped trying to control things. And for the people that are in relationships, learn to work together with your partner. Work together. Talk to one another. Do not be afraid. I know some of you, I feel some of you guys are truly afraid. You guys are scared. Like you guys have a hard time expressing your emotions your wants and your needs or you're like you're not afraid of your person like they're gonna hurt you but it's just like the presence in their dominance you're afraid because you think that they're gonna be like really why the f did you do that again tell your person hey let's bring it down a couple notches calm down can you look at me I need you I need to talk to you about something I need you to help me out. I'm in a dark place. I have been screaming for help. And I need you to help me out. Go check out that video also. Screaming in the darkness. Go check that video out. Some of you need to. You guys. Whoever's here is not by accident. Go check that video out. Um, screaming in the darkness. You guys need to definitely check it out. And read it. You guys. It's going to. It's going to help you guys out a lot and explain what I'm talking about right here. But as far as this abundance, you're going to start receiving this abundance as you start growing, as you start uh, getting rid of these secrets, getting rid of things. Some of you guys are keeping secrets from people and you think they don't know, but really, truly, they are. They they're discernment and they're and it's not bad secrets. Some of it could be. It could be things from your past that you never thought were going to get out. And that person probably, they, they, they know about it. Even if they haven't found it, they just know about it. And they don't say a single word to you. But I guarantee you they won't judge you. I guarantee you if they feel like it was a problem, they'll handle it themselves. And they'll be like, eh, eh, you don't handle it. You don't deal with it. I got you. We're going to take care of this together. Or we're going to get through this together. That's how much that person cares. Their emotions might run a little high, but it's not going to be because of you. But their emotions going to run high because how much they love you, they care about you, and they respect you. Because when a person respects your name and they care about your character and they care about who you are, man, that person is a keeper. When a person is willing to 
check somebody no matter how even the smallest thing. That's a keeper. I wish, and I'm just being real, I, I don't care who it is. And yes, I'm going to talk about my wife and kids because I have a right to. I have a beautiful family and I have a right to talk about them. So I'm just sharing my experience. If somebody were to disrespect my wife, it's going to be problems. I don't care who you are. It's going to be problems. I don't care if it's one of my our sons. You disrespect your mother, we're going to have some problems. Because she might she's your mother, but she's my wife. My job is to protect her first at all costs. One day you are there. One day my boys are going to have wives. You know. And what people don't understand is what you're doing in your marriage or your relationship or your future marriage, you're showing your kids and teaching them so when they get older, you're showing them and hopefully giving, you're giving them the right tools so they know. So by me showing my children and us, me, my wife and I showing our children, this is the way you do it. And hey, mommy and mommy and daddy put each other first, but then you're next. That's showing them that they should love and respect their wives in the future. Because if you don't respect your wives in the future, I don't care how far I am in this community. Daddy is going to put his foot and universe, please forgive me from saying this, but I'm just keeping it real. Up they asses straight up. If they wives ever come to me and tell me, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, um, you know, father, you know, um, father-in-law or, or, you know, whatever, or pops, like, can you please talk to, so, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and be like, boy, what the hell is going on? But you know what? I would also tell them, hey, maybe you guys need to go to coaching and therapy, but you if my children ever put their hands on their wives, their asses don't get put in the grave. Straight like that. I am still I am still who I am. And 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 uh, you know, babe, I'm sorry, but it just it is what it is. I know you love your kids, but I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> they they asses is gonna put in the grave because you are never to sit back here and put your hands on a woman. You know, y'all having sex and doing stuff like yeah, 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 yeah. that's another story. But as far you know, y'all in the bedroom, yeah, 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 you do what you want to. Choke, whatever, yeah, that's your business. But as far as you slapping or putting, I don't condone of any of that. I don't condone of, I don't even condone of a woman doing it. It's, it's not right either way it go on both parties. I don't care if you're in a same-sex marriage. It's not okay. It's not. Also, I'm hearing it is not okay for you guys to go behind each other's back when you get pissed off and talk to somebody else. You guys should be talking to each other and not everyone else. Don't go to your family or go to your friends because I'm going to tell you something. All it takes is one time. And you tell somebody bad or tell somebody something that your partner done did or your husband or your wife and they gon' everybody else is going to look at that person different. So if you guys have a disagreement or altercation, you guys need to work that out. Go see a coach if you can't or go see a therapist. Go see a life coach. Go see a marriage coach. Go see a relationship coach or a therapist that deals with that. Don't go talk about your business to someone else unless you know that person is going to be mutual like Switzerland and never take your side. Because I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to my wife, I'm just going to keep it real. The, the one person that I look at, my business advisor, and I know him, 
I've known him since I was honestly a child. But I know, without a doubt, he is one of the two people that I trust in this world besides my wife. If my ass ever do something wrong, he is going to check me and correct me. And he is not going to take my side just because of the fact he know me. He going to let me know, hey, man, that, that wasn't okay. That wasn't cool. So if you ain't got a person like that that you can go to or that's going to be Switzerland, don't do it. And still, you, will, you, you two are in a union when you guys get married and when you guys become one. Before you go to somebody else, you guys... That is part of communicating and working on these things together. It's like if it's like if your man posts a picture and you don't like it, right? Tell him, I don't like that picture. Or I don't like how you spoke to me. You hurt my feelings. Express those things. Or if a woman does, men express. If you don't like, it's not it's not being controlling. It's it. It's being respectful and letting that person know I don't feel comfortable with you doing that. You're growing and maturing your relationship because we live in a time period where everybody is okay. But I'm going to tell you something and I'm just going to keep it real. Men, men don't, men are not, most men are not okay with their, their women having uh, guy friends. And the reason why is because why? We all know how guys think. We all know another guy is looking at you. And we could trust our woman to the utmost respect, but we know. And I'm, I'm going to get back on track, but somebody needs to hear this. We know what other men are capable of. If you have an ex or anything you talking to, or you stop. Stop. Unfollow them on Instagram. Unfollow them on Telegram. Hello, whatever the hell is called, Telegram, WhatsApp, whatever, um, whatever you have, unfollow them. If you know it's men that like you or women that like you, you need to get rid of them. I had I had a situation um, with a woman who was working for me for like two days. She touched my hand. And I felt uncomfortable and I had to let her go because that's how much respect that I have for my wife. She just touched my hand and smiled. But it's just the disrespect. I don't like that. She had a husband. You to touch my hand and you to laugh and I don't like that. And she was gone immediately. I would never let a woman disrespect my wife. And that's my job. And that's that is your job if you are in a marriage or in a relationship to know boundaries and to know because you might be a certain place and you might be a certain way. But the other person, they you think they really care? about your boundaries they're testing the theory they're testing to see if you loyal to your person yeah i'm a, i actually coach men and women and i've heard men and women say this i don't care about that person being married i want them. men and women i've heard say that they willing to go break up a happy home or oh i don't and i'm like excuse me and I'll just tell them straight up, that's not okay. It doesn't matter if you want that person. That's not okay. That person is with somebody. They're in a relationship. How would you like it if somebody do it? And you learn that person is really a cheater and they don't have any morals and they don't have any boundaries or, and they don't have any self-respect for their self. And anybody who doesn't have self-respect for their self, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with anybody who don't have self-respect for yourself. Because me personally, as a man, I have self-respect for myself. Not only myself, but I got self-respect for my wife. That I'm never going to let anybody disrespect me. Like, nobody can't even ask me to go grab a drink because the answer is no. I'm not going to grab a drink with you if you're a woman. I have a wife. No, it's not happening. I'm not going to, to, to go to a restaurant with you. Unless you're my mother-in-law, my my sister-in-law, or uh, or um, or uh, my I'm not gonna even say in-law because they're family. Unless you a family member, no, I'm not. 
And even then, if you're not, if you're not my, if you're not my mother, or you're not my little sister, I'm gonna tell my wife straight up, hey, and I'm still gonna tell her. I still check in with my wife and let her know, hey, you know, such and such, I'm about to go, so she knows. I give my wife that respect because she deserves that respect because she's a woman. That's called you. A lot of y'all need to learn to teach people how you want to be loved and treated and how you want to be respected. Stop keeping quiet because by you keeping quiet, you're not teaching that person how to love you and respect you. It's a two way street. And a lot of women, I've heard a lot of women throughout the Internet be like, oh, well, I don't you know. I don't want to feel like I'm um, like I'm like somebody is. I feel like somebody's controlling me or I have my freedom taken from me. Well, when you're in a relationship, isn't that the whole point? You're supposed to you're supposed to do things differently. You're supposed to carry yourself a, a certain way. You're supposed to be respectful to your partner. They're supposed to be respectful to you, especially if you're in a marriage. You're supposed to be respectful to each other. You're not single anymore. If your ass want to be single, then why are you in a relationship or a marriage if you still wanted to do those things? And I've told people that if you still want to do those things, then you don't need to be in a relationship or a marriage. It's just that simple. And I stand on what I say. I've had to tell people that that I've coached. I've had to tell people that that I've done readings for and I've been blunt and real with them. If your person ain't doing any of that, how disrespectful is that for you to go do that? Because th this is reality. Would you rather have your person or would you rather have your person wind up leaving you because they realize, you know what? This person is not fully invested in me. I'm going to go. I told you. You didn't listen. Take care. Or would you rather still have all these people around, friends? exes uh people you've messed with that's not okay and somebody needs to hear that but we gonna get back to it we gonna get back to it um like and we are gonna do that channel message because i still remember it. but somebody needed to hear that it's time for you to take action in order for you to get out of this tower moment it's time for you to take action and release your past it's time for you to let go and it's time for you to ground yourself and heal yourself you are enough you are loved whoever this is they love you they adore you and like the channel message can't wait this person is saying hey babe you mean the world to me i would give my life and my all my last breaths for you just so you could breathe 10 seconds longer than me if we ran out of oxygen i want to cuddle with you right now and i'm not ashamed of you i'm not ashamed of what we've had to go through i'm not ashamed of calling you my best friend my husband my wife my lover I'm not ashamed if you gain weight. I'm not ashamed of the fact that it's taking you longer to get done with school. I'm not ashamed if you can't read. I'm not ashamed if you don't have your driver's license. Babe, I'm not ashamed of you. I love you and I'm willing to stand by you because you are my everything. You take my breath away. You mean the world to me. I need you to let me in because I feel like I'm a prisoner locked up in the cage on the outside and you're the one stuck inside the cage. And I only want you to be real with me because I only want to be real with you. I want us to be able to grow and to heal one another because that's what we were meant to do in this lifetime. We are meant to break generational curses with the families that we have been born into. But we are not of this world. Even though we are in this world. 
I want to create abundance and wealth with you. I want to have businesses with you. I want to take trips with you. I want to pull your hair. I want to kiss your neck. I want to be able to take showers with you. I don't care if you don't feel like you're not good enough or you're not beautiful enough. You are. You tell yourself you're beautiful enough, but deep down inside, I know you don't mean it. You don't need validation or confirmation from the world. You are beautiful enough. You are good enough. And I will keep showing you that until I take my last breath. Because I am yours. But I need you to let me in. Because you have not been letting me in. We can ground one another. We can build together. We can become a power couple. Because we are a power couple. I'm also hearing this could be your best friend. That has feelings for you. You two might. If you two are lovers. You two might not be best friends yet. But come each other friends also. Travel. Take time off. Take a trip. Adventure. You guys are meant to travel. And I don't even have to pull no travel cards. I'm not going to pull them. But you guys are meant to go to so many places. You guys need to talk about trips that you guys want to take together. You guys need to talk about, um, you guys need to start saving up money. So you guys, for some of you guys, you don't have the funds. You don't have the things you need. And you do need to uh, save money. For others of you guys, you guys are good. But regardless, you guys need to start planning. It's time you guys start planning your life. You guys don't have to wait. Do it now. Do it. Do it today. Even if you start there, start somewhere today, you guys. Don't wait. And again, I'm talking slow as per possible for anybody who needs me to talk slow instead of me talking fast. Um, but do it. Do it. Do it today. Start today. Start planning somewhere. Get a book out. Ask each other questions. I don't care if you guys have been together for 15 years. Ask each other questions. We change. We grow. Ask each other what your favorite color is right now. I know that sounds corny, but ask. What is your favorite dessert now? Where is one restaurant you would like us to go? Don't just say, hi, how are you? If you're, if that person, if you're at work and that person is asleep, text that person something beautiful and let them know that you miss them. Get out of your comfort zone. Write that person something romantic. Tell them a kind gesture. Don't wait to text them. Text them now. Text them while you're hearing this. Pause this damn reading if you have to. Do it. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the morning when you see this. Text your person and tell them how you feel. If you are in a relationship, just text them and tell them, I got you. I got you. And I'm not going nowhere. And we 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 are going to be together more lifetimes than this. I got you. I got you through thick and thin. If this is your best friend, your daughter, your grandmother, and you know that person, tell them, hey, I got you. You got me, I got you. I know you're sinking, I know you're in the darkness, but I got you. Because y'all about to be blessed, whoever you are. Also, some of y'all have y'all spiritual babies who are trying to get through to one of y'all or both of y'all who have been trying to connect with y'all and talk to y'all. This could be a daughter for some. This could be a son for others. But this this spiritual baby or these spiritual babies are also trying to guide you 
and protect uh, protect you. And they try to tell you, hey, don't do that. What you're about to do is not a good thing. And it could be the smallest thing, but it's like, don't do that. You don't need attention. Hey, don't do this. Don't go that way. Come home early. You don't need to be out all night. It's okay for you to be by yourself. You don't need to be around people right now. You need to sleep. You need to rest. Some of y'all spiritual babies are telling you, hey, you need to contact mommy and daddy. Talk to them. Call to mommy and daddy. Let mommy or daddy know what's wrong. You feeling this niggling feeling and you think you're crazy, but you're not. For some of you guys, you're wondering, is it true? This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner that you seek. It is. Free yourself. Free yourself. It's time for you to take back control of your life, your past. It's time for you to let go of your past. Release your past. Let it go. Because that's a part of this tower moment that you're going through. In order for you to receive these blessings that's coming, you have to let your past go. In order for you to have this abundance and travel and do all this, you have to work on this. If you guys are a couple, work on these things together, not separate. Hell, if you like time to yourself, I'm sorry. Your spiritual guides are really trying to teach you a lesson. Time's up. When you sign that damn contract, there is no time to yourself no more. Yeah, you can have time to yourself, but this ain't the time to be trying to take time to yourself. This is the time for you guys to be trying to build and create and come together. Because the longer you guys take, or the longer you take, you guys are staying stagnant. You guys are staying stuck in one spot. You might think you're getting somewhere, but honestly, you're not. You're holding up processes right now by being stuck and by being stubborn and being in your comfort zone or trying to control everything. Somebody needs to hear that. You need to trust. You need to trust God. Unexpected blessings. Do your part. Again, it says unexpected change here. Blessings in disguise. Unexpected blessings. Do your part. You have to do your part. In order for you to receive unexpected blessings, your person, this is confirmation, they have mutual feelings for you. Man, this person wants to make love to you and this person does not care. This person don't care about how much weight you gain, or how much weight you lost, or if you don't have makeup on. Do they want you to send them pretty sexy pictures when you got makeup on? Sure. Do they want you to sit back here and... Do you want them to send you pictures or whatever? If they just went to the barber and got their hair cut, are they looking fly? Yeah, they do. They want those pictures. They don't just want the world to see those pictures. They want to be able to see them first. Like, serious. They want to be able to see, hey, that's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. Ah. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Let me stop. Let me stop. I, I felt Michael Jackson for a second. Chanel. Teamwork. Somebody gonna be like, this man is a damn fool. Babe, if you listen to this, yeah, you just, I know. You're gonna be like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. She gonna be like, uh, uh, uh. When she listens to this, she gonna be like, "Uh, uh, uh, my husband is too much." Teamwork. Yes, it is meant for you guys to have teamwork. You guys are meant to build. In order for you to have, in order for you guys to have these blessings, if you are in a relationship or a union, you guys must have teamwork. You guys must learn teamwork. You have to learn teamwork. Right now, you need to learn teamwork. Right now, you. Right now. You got to understand that you are running a marathon, not a race. But the but where you are in this marathon and on this journey, it is time for you 
to learn what teamwork is. Not being independent because you guys are no longer trying to be independent. You want to be independent? It's going to take y'all 20 times longer to get there. You want to be part of a team and do it as a union? You're going to receive all your blessings much more faster. Don't do it just because you're trying to receive money and blessings. The creator and your spiritual guides will know if you're not doing it to be truthful. Do it because you really know that that's what you're supposed to be doing and this message resonates with you and you get it. It's time to move on and release your past. This is confirmation. Let your past go. Let what no longer serves you go. Let those old people, let family members, let things that no longer serve you. If, 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 I'm going to say this because somebody needs to hear this. And this is not no simp shit or anything like this. If my wife told me to let somebody go. Or that person does not need to be in my life or she just does not trust them. Trust them. I would tell her, okay, it's taken care of. Because that's how much I respect my wife. Seriously, I would tell her, okay. If it was a worker or somebody worked for us, and she went to them and she's like, hey, I'm not trying to be rude, but um, we have to let you go. Because at the same time, if you know if somebody is not doing what they need to do, or if people are bullshitting, or if people is bringing bad vibes and tension, that can mess up everybody else around you. That could mess up what you guys are building. And along the way, you're going to have to let people go and cut people off where you're going. Everybody is not meant to go on y'all's journey ahead where you guys are headed. It's going to be family members that who you were once close to, you guys will not be close. It's going to be people who you grew up with in school. You guys are no longer close. I pray that you see this sooner rather than later. Because if you got to see it a year from now, it's going to be a problem. And remember, everybody, presence. Your presence does not mean because somebody needs to hear this. You do not have to be face to face with somebody to give them presence. You can you don't have to be in a person's presence in order to do things. You don't. You could be at work 200 miles away. You could be a thousand miles away. You could be five minutes away. A person can say, hey, I need you. Okay, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Because if that other person stop what they're doing every time, why can't you stop what you're doing? You got to be able to stop what you're doing. For real, stop what you're doing. Give them the same respect that they give you. It's a two-way street. You can't ask, you don't, you shouldn't want somebody to do something for you. And I know that human beings are not that way. But if somebody's doing something for you, you, you got to be willing to do it right back. That's just like if you want something done on your end, tell them. If you say, hey, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I don't like this. Can you not do that anymore as far as like, um, us going here I don't want to go to that place it just or I don't think we should hang around those people okay a mature person is going to be like okay you know that's a mature person an immature person is not going to do that a mature person who has healed enough or who is mature they are going to do that they're not going to come up with no excuses and all that they're going to be like okay or they might say something back, but they're going to be like, okay, and they're going to show you their actions. Y'all's actions must speak louder than y'all words or speak louder. Your actions must speak louder than your silence. Somebody need to hear that. It's billions in this world, but somebody needs to hear that. I ain't taking no shots. I'm not taking any shots at anybody, but I'm trying to help all of you guys out individually. Honest conversations. It's time for you guys to have an honest conversation with one another. It is. Holy ish. Look, the lovers enduring the enduring union. Do you uh, do you see that? The beach. The waves are setting in. 
Do you see how beautiful that is? The Enduring Union, the Lover's Card just came out. If you guys do everything that you guys are supposed to do in the next few months, everything will change. Everything that you have waited on, it will change. You will see great improvement. See or she will. If you don't, this is crazy, this card. If you don't, this card was right underneath. It's going to take a while. And for some of you, it will take a while because what? You're being stubborn. You being stubborn trying to do everything your way. For others, you will have changes around May. You will. For some of you guys, you guys don't have anyone. So because you don't have anyone, it will be someone new who come in. Or if you fumble this person and you don't do what you're supposed to, you better hope that person wait on you. Because if they don't, it's going to be somebody new if they decide to let somebody new. Because some people, after they get out of committed relationship, I know some people who they like, up. Oh, my person do what they want to. I know some women and men who still have not been in another relationship to this day. They 50, 60 years old now, 30, 40, some of them, and they ain't been in a relationship since they 20s. But they had that one person, that other person messed up, and they just like, nah, I'm good. That other person decided, oh, I want you, nah, you want me back now because you realize I was the best thing that you ever had. Yet I tried to put all this work in, and I tried to show you, and I tried to be there, and you wanted to go and listen to everybody else. I've had to coach people like that before. I've had to sit down and people have just hit me up like, look, I'll pay you just so I'll pay you an hour or such and such. Just, you know, your coaching fee or whatever it is in the past, just so you can hear what I need to say. And it's like, OK, do you need any coach? I might need you to tell me some things, but I really just need you to listen. And it, you're, I'm shocked by the fact. And it's always two sides of every story, but it lines up with what they saying. My discernment, I'm like, OK, OK. I'm, I'm, I'm told to look at the bottom of the deck and you already know you already know what you need to do you just scared and afraid some of you scared and afraid or you want to try to you want to try to move things at your pace and how you want to do it and if you don't stop you're going to lose the best thing that you ever had if you don't stop you're going to mess up and you're going to sabotage this so you need to start paying attention and your spiritual babies, again, are trying to help you out along with your spiritual guides and your higher self. Your higher self is saying, please don't be the fool in the tower, in, in, in the tarot decks. Shit. Confirmation. The power couple. I said it earlier. The power couple has came out. And look. Right here. Because I'm going to flip the deck over. It is safe to fall. It is safe for you guys to fall. True story. Joy and stability. Joy and stability is there. And one more. And what the... F this is crazy. Look. Lessons learned. You have to... Lessons learned about your past and everything. Lessons learned. Self-sabotage. Do not self-sabotage this. Somebody needs to hear this. Stop and don't self-sabotage what you have. True love. This is your true love. For you guys who are already together and already have it, don't. That is your true love. That is your soulmate. It is. Yeah. Your spiritual baby is talking. This is at the top of the deck. Your spiritual baby is talking. Family. You guys are meant to have kids in this relationship. And you guys are meant to heal one another. You are. You guys are meant to heal one another. And you guys are meant to create and have a beautiful family. You guys are. Serious. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look. Nine of snow. Some of you guys are so overwhelmed by everything going on in your life. Again, go to your person and tell your person that you are overwhelmed by everything. 
and you need their support. Go to them and just tell them, I don't care if you break down crying. Some of y'all need to stop trying to thug it out and be a gangster or act like you Thor from the movie. Thorn, Thor, uh, Thorn, like Thor, whatever. Like, stop trying to act like you all hard or you some Marvel person or your ass is part of the WWE or some shit like that. Like, stop. Stop. Like, you're, you have a false mask. And I, if that card pop out, it's going to be me and you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take right here. Like, serious. Take the steps you are guided to take. Confirmation. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to others. Your bond deepens. This is talking about your person. Or you communicating with the person you need to communicate with. They adore you. This person adores you. They do. You got to stop. What's over here in this deck? You are, because you are overwhelmed, you need to take time to breathe. But you need to know that this individual got you. They love you. They got you. They not going to let you fall and slip. Ask yourself this. I told I told my son this this morning, my youngest, our baby, because I was taking him to school um, this morning. And he said, Daddy, why should I trust you? And I said, okay. I was like, let me ask you something, baby. I was like, um, does your mother trust me completely? He said, yes. I'm like, does she trust me to protect her? And, and to be there for her at all times, yes. I'm like, so if she could trust me, why won't, why wouldn't you trust me? He's like, okay, daddy, I understand. And this child is a mama's boy to the max, to the 30th power. He is a mother's boy. And I, I love the fact that he, he's a mama's boy. I love it. I'm not jealous of anything else. I love how the fact he... He, he want to talk his mother ear off every moment of the day, honestly. If he could, he would talk her ear off every moment of the day. But mommy has college classes. Mommy, mommy has uh, studying she has to do and stuff. So you can't talk mommy ear off. Mommy has to study and prepare for tests in next semester. You know, so we got to let mommy study so mommy can graduate uh, college. You know, but he talk he 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 will talk our ear off nonstop until he go to sleep. He'll talk, 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 talk. But he love his mama. He love his mama like there is no tomorrow. That's it. That's mommy. You ain't you 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 better not you better not play and disrespect mommy. It's gonna be some problems. And the fact that he love her and he already has he love her so much and he's so young at this age and has that protection for her respect the hell out of that but for him to hear that i knew that that's what he needed to hear is well hey if daddy if daddy um you know if mommy can trust daddy totally you know and for him to say that i knew he would understand because i know my wife trusts me i know my family trusts me to protect them but again even as a even as adults sometimes we need reinsurance a kid is going to need reinsurance a lot of times more than anybody sometimes they just want to hear do you, how much do you love me how much do you care about me women and men are the same way sometimes men need it more than ever they need to hear their wife just say or their husband if you guys are in the same sex marriage or whatever or your mother you need to hear it from that person that you adore the most that you respect <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and my throat chakra is kind of going out. So it's like I feel like <clears throat> this person is not expressing exactly how they feel. But you need to start. This is confirmation. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is confirmation for you to express how you feel. It is. That's confirmation.
That's confirmation. Like a mother. Trust. Trust just came out the deck. Right here. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith has came out. Trust. Don't self-sabotage this, everybody. Do not self-sabotage this. Release. Release your past. It's crazy. This car fell on the floor before. Uh, this car fell on the floor along with one other car before I did the reading. Release your past. And it came out. You need to release your past and let your past go. Your past no longer serves you. Flow around. It's time for you to flow around everything that you're going through. Flow around adversity. You will be fine. Everything that you're going through in this tower moment, let your per take your person's hand. Take your person's hand. It don't matter how it don't matter if you guys live in the same house. It don't matter if you guys live in separate houses. It don't matter if you guys live apart. It don't matter if you guys are not in a committed relationship. If you two know without a doubt that you can feel your person is going through something, I don't care if you get on their nerves. You ask them, is everything okay? If you feel like they are not being honest and don't tell them you're a fucking liar just tell them, hey, something is wrong and I can feel it. And I need you to tell me what's going on. I need you to tell me the darkness that you're going through. Or if your person sees this message, I pray that they will come to you. And they will be adult enough to start the process so that you guys can begin You guys can begin building your future and demolishing the rest of this tower together because you guys are meant to have blessings in the up and coming few months. You guys are going to have blessings coming from every direction possible. You guys are going to have material wealth, abundance, Blessings, all type of stuff coming. You guys just got to trust the process, man. You have to. Let's pull one more card from here. It's time to release negativity. Some of you guys are holding on to so much negativity. Or you guys haven't talked about it. And you guys need to release it. What's this right here? CEO. Some of you guys are meant to become a CEO. Or you guys are meant to have your own business or corporation together. Time. Our time is on. The horizon. That's confirmation right there. Our time is on the horizon. That's the truth. Right here, this is crazy. Learning who you truly are. You are growing into a new individual and learning who you truly are. I know I can trust you with my heart. You know you can trust them with, with your heart, with their heart, with your heart. Both ways, both ways. Private life. One or, one or both of you guys like living a private life. Yeah, right here, confirmation. Offshore trust. You guys are going to have money. Money to where you guys are going to have money coming from other abroad and other countries and stuff like that. You guys are going to have more than one account. Remember, trust one another. Build Loyalty, respect, love. Be there for each other and communicate with one another. Our time is coming. Your time is coming. It is. This situation involves a wedding. You guys could already be married, but this is confirmation if you guys are married. If you are not married, this this situation could be involving basically you guys um, getting married. If you are already married, for some of you guys, there actually might be a second wedding in the future where you guys renew y'all vows in a couple years or in a year. Or maybe that's why this person is kind of going so slow with things because they want you guys to have a second wedding 
in a country with just you and them or they want to go somewhere abroad where it's just you and them or they want to pay for a second engagement ring uh, a second ring a full set maybe or something like that maybe they only bought you the ring the last time and they couldn't afford it um maybe maybe they're getting you a bigger ring or maybe they're downsizing your ring but they're doing something different and they're about to give you a custom ring you never know it could be one carry but what they're doing whatever the case in there is and go off of what this person can afford another thing <clears throat> when you guys are living life together or you're living life with someone when you come in that union go off of what each other can afford don't try to live life higher than your means. If you want to live life higher than your means, then you need to work with your person to create more abundance. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, I know some people that they live way above their means. And I'm looking at them. Like I'd be looking at people and I've had people call me or coach me and they'd be like, man, I'm spending so much money. And I'd be like, all right, let's sit down. And how much money are you spending? How much money is your wife or whatever? You know, how much money is she spending? It's like, well, she's doing this, she's doing that. And so I'm looking like, do you know how much you guys can save if y'all got did do? She won't listen. And I'm like, okay, ask her if she's willing to go, uh, if she's willing to do um, a two-on-one coaching. This is the price I'll charge you guys. It's like, okay, this is my set price. If you guys or if you guys want to do it or you guys want to go to somebody else, okay, cool. And some of them be like, nah, fuck that. I don't care about that part. Like, we don't, we need to get to it and we need to do it. The smart ones will look at it and they will be like, oh shit. Because it's somebody else from the outside telling them and showing them, you also, you guys might need to go over your finances. Don't put that on hold go over your finances together it might be things that you guys did not know in your finances because one of you are taking care of all the finances versus the other one is not and go over your finances every so often or monthly if you are a married couple or you guys in a relationship it don't matter if one person stays at home and takes care of whatever and the other person goes to work go over these things with each other that's building a deeper bond and a deeper connection where you can sit down and you guys, okay, we got to pay this, we got to do this, we got to do that. I'm giving you hit gems because a lot of people, you were not taught these things growing up because we did, I did not see these things growing up. But I want my, ch I want my wife and our, our children, our family to see these things. But I know a lot of people, they did not see these things growing up. It's the truth. They didn't. Peace and harmony. You guys are going to have peace and harmony. You guys are aligning on a higher level. Creating abundance right here. Right? It's right there. Look at that. Creating abundance. True love. Everything has popped out that needs to pop out. Relocating. Confirmation right here. You got this tower moment is involving relocation travel right there travel relocating right here travel relocating you are not meant to just travel you also are meant to relocate overcoming challenges i mean overcoming challenges you guys are gonna overcome great challenges you guys are gonna have honest conversations and work together you guys are Retreat. You guys need to retreat from the world. You guys need to disconnect. And you guys need to start to uh, start to connect if you are not connected. Like, I want you to do something. I want you to pay attention to how much you talk to everyone else. If you do not talk to your person enough, talk to them more. If you have friends and family and you're always texting and talking to them, pay attention to who you text and talk to and change that. If you are always going out and about and you ain't making time for your person, somebody needs to hear this. Make more time for them. You might have a person being extremely patient. But also, 
You guys need to create and disconnect from the world. It is time for you guys to connect with one another right now. That is part of the tower moment. In order for you to become the lovers, or you guys might be the lovers, but in order for you to get out of this tower moment and receive the unexpected blessings and become the power couple that you are supposed to be, you have to do teamwork. In order for you to have this family, you have to be uh, do teamwork. You have to get out of this tower moment. You have to become the power power couple. You have to trust God. You have to know it is safe for you to love. You have to overcome challenges in order for you guys to move. You have and to relocate and to be able to travel and have this abundance. You have to get out of this tower moment, which means what? You have to retreat and disconnect from the world. And you have to do what? You have to learn to trust one another. You have to become Neo, Neo and Trinity or whoever else. You have to become Edward and Bella. Twilight. Me and my wife love Twilight, so let's go there. You have to become the Edward and Bella. There you go. Or you can either go the, the vampire, uh, what is it? The Vampire Diaries, I think. No, not the Vampire Diaries. The other one with the Claire and all of them, the, the witches in the New Orleans and the, and the vampires. I forgot what it's called. That show is badass. I watched it a long time ago or a while back ago. You know, you have to become like Michael and how he was madly in love with what's her face and just there. Like Simba and Nala, damn it. Like the general in Mulan of, 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 damn it, I'm naming movies so you understand. Woody, Woody and what's her face from Toy Story. Yes, I'm talking about damn movies like this. Damn it. I'm trying to make a point. You got to disconnect from the world and you got to become your own beat. You have to beat at your own drum, but you got to disconnect from, from the world because you guys are supposed to grow old with one another. You guys are supposed to take your last breath together. And that is beautiful, my friends. That's beautiful. But you guys have to work on all this. You have to work on all this. Deceptions right here. I said it. Deceptions. Someone is wearing a false mask. Of, of uh, Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Somebody is not being authentic. Someone is not being genuine. Somebody is scared to express themselves and express their emotions. You're scared and afraid. Stop. You have no reason to be sick, scared and afraid. Romant because look, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. One more card and we're done. Be spontaneous with one another. You are. God, be spontaneous with one another. Yeah, distant lovers right here. You guys are distant lovers. Some of you are not, but you guys are. Step out of your comfort zone. I said if it came out, I'm done. The card came out. Step out of your comfort zone. Love and light, peace and prosperity, everybody. I'm done. Love and light, peace and prosperity.